Today's topic is the Thundercats movie. The director of the renowned movie Godzilla vs. Kong, Adam Wingard, has announced that upon completing the sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong, he will devote himself entirely to the script of Thundercats, a live-action film that many are eagerly anticipating. Drawing upon the 80s animation, this project is being meticulously prepared by Wingard, who already owns the rights and has been actively working on the script for some time. But let's not rush. There are some hurdles that could complicate the realization of this live action film. Firstly, producing a film of this nature is even more challenging than an ordinary live action film. The costs are steep due to the multitude of costumes, futuristic machinery and extensive use of special effects. Additionally, a majority of the Thundercats characters lack human features, which would necessitate extensive makeup or special effects work. This not only drives up the production costs, but it may also impact the film's sense of realism. Thundercats pose an even greater challenge given that with few exceptions, all characters feature animalistic traits. They are anthropomorphic figures ranging from robots to cats, lizards, vultures, monkeys. This significantly complicates matters, not just because of the expense, but also due to the difficulty in crafting a convincing look. Even though visual effects technology is continually improving, we still recall the peculiar instance of human-like cats in the movie Cats, which was not well received by audiences. This highlights how difficult it is to bring Thundercats to the screen in a manner that's both realistic and enjoyable. Aside from the aesthetics and budget this would demand, we're living in a time when film budgets are getting smaller, as are box office revenues. And there's also one more point we can't overlook, the nostalgia factor. The Thundercats has an audience that's very attached to the original series, people who grew up watching and who are passionately in love with Thundercats, the classic cartoon. The problem is that we from this generation and I and the new generations don't have the same contact or fondness for the cartoon that we had. The franchise, despite being loved by many who followed it at the time, was unable to renew itself, unlike other cartoons like He-Man, which reinvented itself over the years, introducing new characters and new ideas. This makes it easy to adapt and appeals to audiences from different generations. As for the Thundercats, I don't even know how long it's been since it was on TV, if it's still on somewhere. What are the Thundercats viewership numbers on streaming platforms? Is there still anyone watching? And who are these viewers? Before continuing, remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video to stay up to date. Your likes and subscriptions contribute to the growth of the project. And as the project grows, I can bring you more interesting videos. Agreed. Thanks for the support. Continuing. Which version of the Thundercats will the movie adapt? The Thundercats are a hallmark of Generation X, and even millennials who watched the reboot received it well, but it didn't significantly impact the era. There's a question whether teenagers from that time would be interested in a modern adaptation, and another thing, which version of the Thundercats would this adaptation be based on? Generation Z knows the Thundercats, if at all, because of Thundercats BR, which was an attempt to parody the Thundercats universe just like Teen Titans Go does to the DC universe, focused on the children's audience. But the idea didn't take off. And today's kids who will be tomorrow's teenagers and the target audience of this movie might not have fond memories of Thundercats. In a recent interview with Screen Rant, director Adam Wingard shared his vision for the movie. He confirmed that his goal is to bring the 80s cartoon to reality, including the same costumes, without worrying about what would be more realistic in the live action world. Which version of the Thundercats will the movie adapt? The Thundercats are a Generation X staple, and even the millennials who followed the reboot responded well, but it didn't define the era. The question is whether those teenagers would be interested in an adaptation today. And another thing, which version of the Thundercats would this adaptation be for? Generation Z knows the Thundercats, if they do at all, from Thundercats Roar, which was an attempt to parody the Thundercats universe, like Teen Titans Go does with the DC universe, but it was aimed at a younger audience. 
But the idea didn't take off. And today's children, who will be the teenagers of tomorrow and the target audience of this movie, likely won't have fond memories of Thundercats. In a recent interview with Screen Rant, director Adam Wingard shared his vision for the movie. He confirmed that his goal is to bring the 80s cartoon to reality, including the same costumes, without worrying about what would be more realistic in the live action world. It sounds like he's speaking directly to the fans. I don't know if I want to see Lion in that skimpy 80s costume, that thong with his belly hanging out. In the words of the director, my version will bring to life the exact designs of the 80s version. I want them to look like what they were. I want to bring the cartoons and toys to life with the same costumes and everything else. So maybe we will see Lion in a mini shirt. This makes me think of some live action adaptations of Japanese animes that tried to replicate everything exactly and ended up looking somewhat ridiculous. But look, as long as it's done in a way that truly represents the character's costumes, for example, my all time favorite Batman costume is Ben Affleck's which was very close to the Dark Knight. It wasn't exactly the same, but it made sense and was awesome. And that's what I expect from Thundercats. In conclusion, I think it's going to be increasingly difficult to find an audience willing to pay to see a Thundercats movie. Investors willing to invest in a major actor like McAvoy. Even Professor Xavier the Young has already expressed interest in seeing a Thundercats movie. Perhaps as an executive producer investing in the project, then we would have a chance. In my opinion, a well-done animation would already be incredible. In my opinion, a well-done animation would already be amazing if they did with Thundercats what they did with X-Men in 97. It would already be more than good. A quality animation with the rhythm more dynamic could be excellent. If this new cartoon was successful and built a new base of fans, then yes, we will have an audience for a movie in the future. But from what I see now, without solid numbers, purely from my perception, the interest in a Thundercats movie seems to be dwindling year after year without attracting new generations of fans with a few exceptions. And what do you think? Would you like to see a Thundercats movie? Leave your ideas and questions in the comments. I would love to chat about the topics of the video. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe. Suggestions for the next videos are appearing up here now. It makes perfect sense for you to watch them. See you in the next video. See you soon.